Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Did you uh, hear that uh, the World Cup is about to start soon? Yeah. Might already be started by the time this comes out. I don't follow uh, football, so I'm not sure. Sure, sure. Um, that Qatar, if that's how you pronounce the country, <laughs> Qatar, Qatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they were they were given the World Cup, which is a whole different end because of their like inhumane practices <laughs> and, you, and yada yada. Did you see their mascot? No, I didn't. What is it? This freakishly look it's oddly terrifying just like white handkerchief that's like animated i don't know it has like eyes that look like it sees through your soul and it's like pouring a glass of chai tea really kind of freaky looking but Hold regardless on right now. Hold on a second. Yeah. mask it. oh my god yeah it's pretty weird look it's i mean like I ca- casper with a soccer ball in fact i'll bring it up so that everybody can oh okay yeah good good uh so anyways part of the like the agreement because they, they're like an anti-drinking nation sort of thing yeah part of the agreement was that they had to have alcohol and now like last minute they're like yeah no we're banning alcohol <laughs> like they've already had all the stuff everything's they banned off. alcohol Le-ab. they they banned that alcohol. looks kind of like a clansman bro it, i mean it's supposed to be like i guess oh like they're the, wearing the um the thing but, that the that the uh like the saudi arabia yeah, like yeah 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 but it's it, it looks very i don't know it doesn't look as nice like that looks evil it well it looks like kind of like casper the ghost and a clansman were mixed together <laughs> one of the, one of the comments i saw on reddit was like this is the ghost of human rights <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> but, right yeah, it's like the ghost of hate that's that's essentially what it looks like yeah so um but yeah so then last minute they were just like haha jk and then they're just like people can live for three hours without alcohol but the whole, then they can then they, and they're not wrong but like Sporting events and beer go hand in hand. Wow, like Jonas, you, you said it strong on this, huh? I don't. I mean, I don't care. I usually <laughs> would drink. I usually would drink before I went to the stadium too. Go tailgate yeah. for a couple hours, drink some beers, and then go into the stadium and maybe have like a beer or two while I'm there. But I would be fine if I didn't have any beer in the stadium. Probably would be better for me to be honest, because by the time you go in, you're already drunk. So are they not selling? Is it that they're not selling it on the grounds, or it's not available in the country at all? It was like for. for and I didn't look this up deep enough before. Mm. I think they said that they were going to set up zones outside the stadium to, to sell alcohol, mm. but they weren't going to sell it inside. Cause I think other countries don't sell beer inside the stadium either. Sure. But I think mean, now they were just like, no, nah, we're not going to do that either. So it's like, no, I, mean, I mean, you can look up the story. We're truth, not facts. Yeah, um, yeah. It is true. They're not selling alcohol, but I do not have all the facts. about. I it, did. So. I did see there was a, uh, I did see at Qatar, in Qatar, there was like a, uh, a British reporter who was trying to report on the actual football event that uh-huh. was going on. And that security <laughs> had come and told him that he couldn't film and they threatened to break his camera. Oh. And he was like, uh, we've been told by the government that we can film here. I'm press. And he's trying to show him his press pass. And he's like, no, not today. <laughs> no, not going to work here. Sorry, buddy. I mean, is anyone surprised in that area of the world that that's what happens? I mean, no. those those that general area is known for not having the best human rights. I mean, look no. what's going on in Iran right now. No. Like... <laughs> Uh, I, just, I just think it's crazy when I see white people getting racism done to them. Like, uh, I, knew, <laughs> I knew. I mean. I just, I, you know, didn't say funny. I say it crazy. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I, don't, I mean, you're, I mean, it's. I mean, I, I am a white person. Yeah, yeah. And part of me is like, I mean, like. Yeah. I, I remember I, uh, I heard a story from an individual who had uh, spent some time in uh, Korea. Were they a white person? Yes. Oh, okay. And he said that he was on a, he got on a train or a bus or some sort of public transport and that somebody got on, got in his face and said, screw you, you white bitch. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) And like held up middle fingers and said, fuck you, you white bitch. And then this like got off of the the train or the bus or whatever. Just some random Korean person? Yeah. And he was like, he was like, go back to America. And the guy was like, I'm from Canada. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so he so he got American hate, even yeah. though he wasn't even American. Yeah, I mean, you know. You I mean, know. hey, white white, Amer- white Americans. Yeah, yeah, it's synonymous. But yeah. either way, so it was just like, 
he was like, I didn't know how to really feel about it. He was like, I didn't feel offended necessarily because I'm from Canada, but it was like on the same note, he was looking around. It was like nobody on the train or the bus was, was helping him. And he was like, I expected somebody to at least like give me a smile and nobody did. Everybody, everybody was, was like, yeah, F you, American. Get the F out of here. <laughs> well, and that's, dude. And, but, but in here, and here's, I guess, the thing, right? Like, everyone should. Everyone should what? I'm trying to think how I want to say this. Uh oh. Jones is about to say something. Everyone profound. should have the expectation that at some point they could be hated on for anything about them. <laughs> that's not the that's not that that it's right. Whether you're white, you're black, whatever, it's, it's, you're gonna go somewhere. And people are gonna hate you just because of that. Nah, Jonas, man, that's bo I call not, bullshit. Not everyone should, but everyone should I, expect that that could happen to them because the I, world is effed up. I call bullshit. What do because you mean? I don't feel like you travel through life feeling that way. Well, no, I don't. Not in America, but oh, I you don't, mean if you go to another country, right? Okay, like, and like, then yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. But that, I yeah. have the expectation that that could happen to me even in America, but not. It's not that I fear yeah, it or anything. Yeah, but yeah. I know damn effing well that if I go to like Saudi Arabia. I would be in danger just because I'm white. Uh, they, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I go to Iraq, I'm going to be in danger because I'm white. Yeah. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, I. So kind of like how I feel like if I go to Texas, I could be in danger because well, I'm right. black. And right. And I'm not saying that, like, in America, that there isn't an inequality of racism. <laughs> Don't just, uh, believe me. In America, <laughs> white folks are not getting prejudiced no, against nearly as much as anyone I do I, li I like to see you work through uh your 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 safe white fear of being <laughs> of you. of being discriminated guess, against in a different country go like, ahead I but I guess like it this it's is good. just the world that we live in that like if you go to an area yeah. that you are not the majority like you Dallas. could face racism or inequity or something because people are dicks yeah like kansas i mean yeah like it, it sucks that america is mainly white and that, that that people that are black and hispanic and asian and every nationality get fucking get racist and hate because they're not the the majority in the country right oh, but yeah. like for a white person to go to korea and be the minority there yeah. and get and get some sort of hate <laughs> I mean, like they. It's it's, it's hilarious it's, how you got to go to Korea to get the American experience, Jonas. That's right, funny. exactly, bro. I, like, and, and 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 like, I, I I hope I'm not coming off no, the wrong way. No, dude, I'm giving you carte blanche. Believe me, right, you know, it, you've got a you got a black card. In fact, say the n word. You can. No, 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 I'm allowing it but today. Like, it's it's it just sucks that I guess my point is that it sucks that anywhere where you're not the majority. You could get hate. It it just sucks that yeah. in America the majority is white, so the whites are the ones that don't get it here. Yeah, and I mean, like you know, other other nationalities they come here and they get it. So. Right, exactly. So it's like if I go to India, I'm sure some person in India would hate on me because I'm white. Is it how everyone feels? No, but it could effing happen. Absolutely. I could get hated on just because I'm a white dude in India or Iraq or yeah, Korea. yeah, 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 for sure. But it sucks that America is mainly white, so then every so then the whites in America don't get it as much. Like just like in India, like people uh, of Indian descent don't get Indian hate in India, right? Like people don't get Korean hate in Korea if they're Korean. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's the same sort of thing. I mean, look, I'm not I'm not gonna say is that black people in this country are exempt from hate because Kanye West has proven that apparently even black people can hate Jews. But <laughs> I didn't think we hated Jews. I don't understand it myself. So, so you're you're not on the why do we hate Jews train? Like, no, you know what? And see, look, I want I want to speak for Black America right now, Jonas, as you a black have the person. Mike Blanche, as, my friend. Oh, do I? Thank you for giving me Car Blanche to speak on Black people's business. I know. <laughs> you just <laughs> kidding. Me. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was as an American. Oh, no, <laughs> no, as as. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna speak. I don't understand why we hate Jews. Jews, they did nothing to us, man. They didn't. If anything, they were helping us. Have you seen the pictures of uh, the, the, what's his name, Bernie Sanders, during the civil rights marches and stuff? Jew? Is Bernie Sanders Jewish? I don't know. Yes. Is Sanders a Jewish name? Yeah. yeah. Is it okay? I'd you didn't know Bernie Sanders was Jewish? No, no, I didn't care. I thought he did good stuff, man. I didn't recognize. I don't recognize people because they're Jewish or whatever. Yeah, like this conversation the other day when I was like, "Do you do you even know if you've known another Jewish person?" Yeah, because I don't think about people by what they are. I think about them for their value. Either way, John Stewart has done a lot of good things. 
Is he I, I saw the video with him and Stephen Colbert about yeah. Jewish stuff. That's the only reason I knew John Stewart was Jewish, by the way. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was his the video the video that he put out and the statements that he made were true. Him and, and Colbert on the show. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good. I suggest if you haven't seen it that you watch it. Was, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, it, yeah. I just don't understand the hate. <laughs> did you see that he did exactly as Stephen Colbert what you do to me all the time? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was like that yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, go ahead. It's, about good. The it's a good comedy dynamic. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just don't understand the hate for Jew. I've never hated on Jewish people. I feel like I have known maybe like one Jewish person in my entire life, and it was like, it was like whatever. I knew a Jewish kid when I was in elementary school, Jonas. And I remember yeah. he came and he came to school in Yamaka, and I was more interested than I was like appalled by it. It was like at that very young age, impressionable. You're like, why is this kid wearing a hat like that? Yeah, there was no, there was no hate. I was like, come and sit at my table and eat lunch with me. You know, it was like you're my friend, regardless of whether you wear a yarmulke or not. Right. So I, I don't know, I don't know, and I get it. And the, the thing is, is that the statements made by certain individuals who hate on a certain subset of people is it's overly reductive to the fact is that you have a problem with one person. If you have a problem with the person who, who stole your lunch money in school, that's different than blaming all of those people well, for stealing think, your lunch money in school. And this is going to go long, but that's fine. Cause, but, uh, I think, but I think that's what happens. People project. So like, yeah. so if you are a white guy, and there were three Hispanic kids in your school that picked on you all the time, yeah. then you project Hispanic people are going to pick on me. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Now you're mad at all Hispanics. Right. When it's just three assholes who were like, they could have been white, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. Yeah. They were, they were going to be dicks to you regardless of their nationality, yeah. whether they were straight, gay, white, black, whatever. But then in that, and it comes from fear. Like people are like, well, I don't know. I, I have never met many Asian people and I hear all these different things about Asian people so I think these things about Asian people then they go and meet a bunch of Asian people and they're like oh all those stereotypes that I heard aren't true uh, yep. wow that's weird I wonder why I hated them my whole life you're like it's immersion immersion breaks prejudice Jonas right you hear about like all those kids that were growing up in like clan families and things and, and, <laughs> and then they go out and they families. meet a bunch of, my, of, of like different nationalities and they're like oh wow like Black people and Hispanic people and Asian people are just like me. Yeah, no <laughs> effing ass, dude. Of course, they're, we're all human, bro. Like, what the? Like, yeah, you just thought they yeah. were aliens because they weren't white? Like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, yeah, their skin's different, you know? it, So, yeah, you must be an alien because you're just like, it just blow it, people, but people project that. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, those, you know, those, those Hispanic kids that picked on me walking home from school every day. So that's. And, well, and nobody's exempt from being an asshole. Let's put that in perspective. Everybody, every race. Every sex, every gender has assholes in it. Whether you're men, woman, non-binary, yeah. black, white, Hispanic, exactly. anything. There's bad actors on every side. Democrat, Republican, everybody has the right. Independent, gay, straight, whatever. Yeah. Everybody has assholes in their group. And guess what? Those assholes do not speak for the majority. No. It, well, and that's why just when people say, like, all women do this or all men do this, like, yeah. in relationships, it's not, man. So I'll never get on board with supremacy for anybody whether that be black people white people whatever. oh yeah never not. never no. republican democrat none of that nobody's better because everybody has flaws how about this what kind people over unkind people i'll, I'll get on that boat <laughs> like hey you're not you're not kind you're an a-hole hey kind like i would rather separate society by kindness and unkindness like than I, I like race. it i like it but it sounds like something my mom it's, it still sounds it like, sounds like something my grandma was still saying. sounds elitist right? i just like kind people i mean i do like kind people Ugh. <laughs> whatever you're a kind person whether you want to be uh, don't call me kind jonas <laughs> ew oh my god i'm offended this is la last anyways, episode of the podcast that's all the time we have <laughs> anyways that's the end of the podcast forever now that i've called tnt ew. anyways go to the we'll be back next week for jonas tnt yep